my Pokemon again. Oh, yes, they're calling it. What are we doing? Come on. Come on. What's in there? Come on. Come on. Where are we going? Come on. What's up? You're being. Why is it the minute. Come on. The minute he knows he's being photographed or taped, he decides he's going to be a cheeky puppy. Oh, oh, sorry, just trying to get myself comfortable first thing in the morning. Oh, look, I've just gotten out of the shower, so I've got a good morning, everybody. I'll start again, and of course, I do this in in one take, and I don't bother editing because, <coughs> pardon me. No idea how to with photos. No, not very well anyway. So, hello, it's John from Brisbane, in case this is the first time you're watching. Which probably won't be the case because it's only the faithful few who, who keep watching my videos. Which is sad, but hey, it doesn't worry me because I enjoy what I'm doing. So if I'm talking to the vacuum of ether, that's okay. I'm used to my own voice. I like it. It's good. I don't get arguments talking to myself. Well, actually, I do. But... So, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, and I don't mean wait by you waiting. No, my wait has, well, it's dropped just a little bit. 200 grams. Yep. Might as well say nothing, to be honest. Um... 200 kilos, 0.2. So you can more or less say that I'm sitting on 100 kilograms at the moment. So give or, pardon me, take. It's, um, what's the time? It's just after uh, six o'clock this morning. It's a nice brisk, uh, I think the phone said it's seven degrees Celsius, but they say it feels like six. And uh, it feels a little bit colder, but then I've just gotten out of the shower, so it feels like a little bit chillier than that but uh, yeah so it's, it's still winter here so uh, it's uh, nice it's nice so what else so that's where uh, my weight is I can't get out of the doldrums at the moment so my weight will continue to probably stay here until things turn medications sadly not uh, well, the medication helps, but it's it's just the fact that I'm not eating the right I'm not eating the right stuff, and I'm clearly not looking after myself, which is always a side effect of of um, basically not caring. Yeah, it's one of those things. You get into those I get into those moods, and um, you just give up, and you go, "What's the point?" But I think I've said that previously, so I potter along and uh, and that. But on the more cheerful things, I had my club day yesterday, which was wonderful. I got to play a game I have not played before called Discworld Ankh Morpork. And it was the most enjoyable fun I've had in a long time. And uh, it was um, it was so much fun because uh, all of us who were playing were Terry Pratchett fans. And the fact that... Uh, Two of us have not played the game before, and uh, of course we're drawing the cards and we're seeing the uh, locations or the characters, and we're quoting sections or remembering portions from his novels. And you know, it just made the game, you know, so much more fun. We actually had a chap come up and say, "Oh, look, you know, do you think this game would be good if uh, if you didn't know the Discworld?" And uh, to be honest, 
I don't think you'd get as much enjoyment. I think it really is a game that is really geared towards people who do appreciate Sir Terry's work. Uh, so uh, that I think is I think is pretty much a uh, oh yeah. Well, look, see, I told you, you're getting me warts and all today. and uh, But yeah, it, it really is one of, those, uh, one of those games, I think, that you really do need to appreciate the, uh, uh, the world that he created. And, uh, oh, we were having so much fun. We were laughing as we were remembering sections and Dorful and, and uh, people trying to guess who people were. And I, oddly enough, won the game. I was Sam Vines. One of my favourite characters. It was, it was hilarious because everyone's trying to guess who everybody else was and they're going, oh, look, stop him. He's, he's Dragon King of Arms. He's trying to get, you know, the, the uh, what was it, the trouble, eight trouble markers down out on the table. And it was, uh, you know, and there I was quietly plodding along and they thought I was um, Crisis. Uh, no, Crisis. Uh, I'll patrol. I can't, can't, can't pronounce it. I can't remember his correct name but it was so much fun it really was it was a lot of fun playing that so i played that yesterday but uh yeah so club day yesterday was excellent next next saturday i got another i got another club day oh everything happens and then probably be a drought for a while then but and then the saturday after then i get my role playing so you know an old man being entertained three saturdays in a row this is unheard of um, so I shouldn't jinx myself. I uh, normally don't get any entertainment at all, but you know, three Saturdays in a row, whoopie doo! I'm I'm really happy. Otherwise, you know, I don't see anybody or get to go anywhere at all. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, so what else? Um, I've been taking my dog for a walk. I think if you have a look at my YouTube channel, you'll see that I've posted pets are your best friends. I even posted on this group saying look. Come share some photos. I haven't checked this morning. I'm hoping some people might have might have decided to share some photos, but it didn't look like anybody was particularly interested. So, well, your loss if you don't wish to share your pets. That's that's fine. That's your prerogative. But I find pets bring balance. They really do. I love my dog. He's my best friend. So, but anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Good to see that the regulars are still there, still posting. Thank you very much, um, you know, uh, John and Emily. I see you're out and about. Jeez, you must have a good lifestyle. Um, but anyway, that's uh, I like John's impression of the Hulk. Um, and your games, your game days must be brilliant. Um, so that's uh, that's that's good, uh, Yvonne. With your hiking, I hope you continue with that. And uh, please keep posting your pictures of your countryside. You know, even if you think you've taken a photo of it before, you might have taken it in a slightly different light, and it still looks good. So please do that. Emily's getting closer to a wedding, which is uh, which is good. Um, somebody else posted their picture of um, their holidays, and I can't remember who it is, and I haven't got my computer properly on yet. But look, thank you very much for for sharing them. Your family look wonderful. I just I've got a brain spasm at the moment, so please forgive me. I know who you are. You know who you are. So, uh, but anyway, look, thank you, everybody, who does still continue to contribute photos. And, of course, um, um, bugger me dead. I've forgotten the name now. Um, Missy. <laughs> How can people forget her? But, yes. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Yes. It's an old man syndrome, but uh, of course Missy continues to post. So uh, <coughs> yes, so yes, she's still there as one of our regulars. So uh, and of course Dan has Dan been posting? Oh, it's, I see Dan posting around all over the place. So <coughs> he's uh, a little more active now that he seems to have got less stress. So but all right. Anyway, thank you very much everybody for watching, and uh, I will catch you next week. So signing off. The Honourable John. How are you doing, Wicked? Come on, you want to open the gate?
Well, you don't want to be caught in the video, do you? Typical. Oh, your mother doesn't like to be caught in anything, does she? Pretty bark that. Come on. Out of the garden. Dear, dear. 